Now, after having discussed about the class 1 agents, let me discuss about the class 2 agents. Remember, class 2 agents, they are conventional beta blockers. Alright, they are conventional beta blockers. Right, that is your class 2 agents. Now, how do they act? Remember, the mechanism of action of these particular drugs is they act by blocking the effects of adrenaline and noradrenaline at the beta 1 receptors which are present on the heart. Now, once the beta 1 receptors are being blocked, thereby there is decrease in the sympathetic activity on the heart. Okay, so if you take the class 2 agents, they act by blocking the effects of right, they act by blocking the effects of right, blocking the effects of adrenaline and noradrenaline at beta 1 receptors right where are these beta 1 receptors present they are present on the heart so once this particular beta 1 receptors are being blocked there is decrease in the sympathetic activity on the heart right there is decrease in the right there is decrease in the sympathetic activity on the heart all right next now let me tell you another very important point here if you take these agents, these agents are particularly useful in the treatment of supraventricular tachycardias, right? These agents, they are particularly useful in the treatment of, right, in the treatment of the supraventricular tachycardias. Now, another very important point is that if you take these class 2 agents, these drugs, they decrease the slope of phase 4. Right, what is your phase 4? Phase 4 is your resting membrane potential. So, remember these drugs, they decrease the slope of, right, they decrease the slope of the phase 4. And once there is decrease in the slope of phase 4, that is responsible for automaticity. Right, that is responsible for, right, that is responsible for automaticity. And not only that, these drugs as they decrease the slope of phase 4 and they also decrease the conduction through the AV node, right? These are the AV nodal blocking agents, okay? So these drugs, they also decrease, right? They also decrease the conduction through the AV node, right? They also decrease the conduction through the AV node. Now, let me tell you the examples of the important beta blockers. The important beta blockers used as antiarrhythmic agents are, right, number one, we have esmolol, right, esmolol is one of the important beta blocker. Next to the esmolol, we have propranolol. Right, next to the esmolol, we have another important beta blocker that is propranolol. And next to that, we have metoprolol. Right, next to that, what we have is the metoprolol. Now, let me tell you an important multiple choice question here. So, esmolol, propranolol or, and metoprolol, these are the important beta blockers which are used as antiarrhythmic agents. Right, which are used as antiarrhythmic agents. Now, now the multiple choice question here is, you take esmolol, esmolol is the shortest acting beta blocker, right? This is the shortest acting beta blocker, right? So that is one of the important point regarding the esmolol. Now, where is this used? Because it is shortest acting, it can be used intravenously for the emergency control of the ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. So, this esmolol, remember, it is used intravenously, right? It is used intravenously. And it is used intravenously for the emergency control of, right? For the emergency control of ventricular rate right for the emergency control of ventricular rate in atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation right 
so when for emergency control of ventricular rate in atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation so this is about your class 2 agents so let me shortly revise about class 2 agents remember these are the conventional beta blockers and how do they act they act by blocking the effects of adrenaline and noradrenaline at the beta 1 receptors and thereby decreasing the sympathetic activity on the heart and these agents they are particularly useful in the treatment of the supraventricular tachycardias and a point what you need to remember is these drugs they decrease the slope of phase 4 and they also decrease the conduction through the AV node phase 4 is responsible for the automaticity now the drugs if you take the important beta blockers used as an antiarrhythmic agents are esmolol propranolol and as well as the metoprolol and you take the esmolol Esmolol, it is the shortest acting beta blocker and if you take the route of administration of this esmolol, it is used intravenously for the emergency control of ventricular rate in atrial flutter and as well as the atrial fibrillation. So this is about your class 2 agents.